have a great looking and sounding show, how do we get this out to the viewing audience? Well, there are several ways to bring your show out of a TriCaster. First of all, there are three rows of video outputs on the back of the TriCaster. And each row has SDI out and analog out, and they're all active at the same time. It's literally six video outs, three SDI and three analog. Now, the first two rows are going to output whatever resolution you set the TriCaster's session to. So when you start the TriCaster up, you create your session, you pick a resolution. That's the resolution that's going to come out of 1 and 2. No matter what you're feeding in, if you say, I want to work in 1080i, and you feed a bunch of SD cameras into the TriCaster, you'll get 1080i out. The third video output is configurable. Now, in the interface, if you go to the Program Out Monitor and you click on the gear in the upper right-hand corner, you can go to the Output tab. Here, you've got a proc amp for the output. So not only can you do proc amp on all of the inputs as they're coming in, but you also have a final proc amp on the way out for ultimate control over the video levels. Now, you also have the ability to adjust what's going to go out, auxiliary out. So you could send out an individual input, you could send out any of the frame buffers. You could make it a hardware preview monitor to have a preview monitor outside of the TriCaster interface. You could also make it program out just to have a third row of program out, just like the other two rows. But you could also set it to be program out clean. This is going to be your program minus any of the downstream keys. So if you've been doing all of your graphics with the downstream keys, you literally have no graphics on your program out. This is great if you're doing any kind of regional production that needs to go to other countries or other areas that speak different languages where they can add graphics in the appropriate language on their end. Now, you can also send the effects row out your third video output. And again, you can make your utility row here into your effects row. Now, you could do a switch, a cuts only switch on the effects row. And that would be completely separate from the switch that's happening out of the other two main program outs. This is great for feeding side screens at a live production, or if you have to have multiple video sources out for multiple destinations, you can do that using the auxiliary video out. Now, not only can you adjust what's going out that output, but you can also adjust the resolution and format going out. This means you could output high def and standard def simultaneously, or two resolutions of high def, 1080 and 720 at the same time. Or again, you could be broadcasting with graphics and broadcasting without graphics to another area, sending your broadcast off to that other regional area, all from one TriCaster. So your auxiliary video out allows you to do all of this, and it's all configurable from right here inside the interface. You also have an HDMI out, which is audio and video on one cable. And there's also DVI out. We talked about our multi-viewer. That can be turned into program out as well, giving you a DVI version of program out. Now, another way to get your program out of the TriCaster is to stream live to the internet. We talked about setting up the stream earlier in this presentation. And again, uh, to set up your stream, you would go to the gear next to the stream button. And again, refer to the earlier section on setting your stream up. And to start streaming, you simply click on the stream button either in the interface or here on the control surface. Now again, whenever you stream live, that stream is automatically recorded back to the TriCaster's internal hard drive. So as soon as you're done with your live stream, as soon as you stop the stream, you're going to have a file that you can put up on the web for video on demand. And all of this is done automatically for you. Now, Speaking of recording, you also have the ability to record the production that you're producing out of the TriCaster. You've got a record button right here, and again, that can be configured. And not only can you record program out, but you could record auxiliary out. That means you could be broadcasting with graphics, but recording without graphics. Or you could be broadcasting in 720, but recording at 1080. It's a very powerful and flexible direct-to-disc recording system built right into the TriCaster. And again, remember, you have the ability to drop any recording that you do directly into either DDR as soon as you finish. And this is great if you're doing any kind of video production where you want to be able to review what you just did very quickly. You can be recording the production, and as soon as you hit stop recording, that clip will show up inside of the DDR, and you can start the review process. 
Now, once you're done with your live production, you have some options as far as getting that live production out of the TriCaster, getting the recorded files that you've captured during that live production to use them in many different areas outside of the TriCaster. Let's go ahead and take a look. We're going to click on the little X in the upper right hand corner and we're going to exit our live production. And this is going to take us back to our sessions page. Now, we're going to go over to manage our media. And from the Manage Media tab, we have two other buttons that we haven't looked at yet. We looked at importing our media before we started the show, but now you have the ability to export media. So anything that was captured during the show can now be exported. So we can go in and we can say we want to add a clip that we captured during the show. Let's just say this is the clip that we captured during the show. And we can now choose an application. So what do we want to use this for? Do we want to make a DVD? Do we want to go to Flash for the web? Do we want to go to mobile devices? Let's say I want a version of the show for mobile devices. Now I've got some presets, iPad, iPod, Android, ready to go. I also have the ability to select that and duplicate it. And I can say, you know what? This one, I want to go to an application, and I want that application to be Apple Final Cut. And I also want a version for the web in Flash. And now it's going to go ahead and it's going to output my production in all three of those formats all as one batch conversion done from the media exporter. Now once you've got all of the things out of the TriCaster, you do have the ability to back your session up and it will back up everything about the session. Not only all of the settings, the cropping and the virtual sets and any proc amp settings and all of the content that was loaded, everything about your show can be backed up by clicking back up the session. You can then back this up to either the removable drives in the TriCaster or even back it up to an external drive a drive connected to the eSATA port on the back, or even a USB drive. Then simply choose the drive from the requester and click OK to back up your session. You do have the ability to back up the session with the content or without the content. So you may just want to back up all your settings, but you don't want to recopy all the video clips and all that sort of stuff because that can get kind of large. So you have the option of doing it either way when backing up a session. Now, if you have a backed up session that you want to restore back into the TriCaster, Let's go back out to our home page. And from the home page, you have the ability to, to restore a session from any drive connected to the system. Just click on Restore Session, click on the backup, and it will restore that session back into the TriCaster ready for use. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation and I hope you've learned something about the TriCaster. There's a lot more information about how the TriCaster works in the manual, so please make sure that you read the manual for the TriCaster. And again, many of our elite partners and resellers also offer personalized training. So if you'd like to get some face-to-face -face training with one of our resellers, please contact the person that you bought the TriCaster from and ask them if they offer training. I'm Don Balance. Thanks for watching.